Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the winter transfer period, so um, I've done a little bit of research and decided that I'm just going to uh, go for it and uh, try and pull in some players that uh, I've uh, written down. So, um, first of all, you've got all these things here. So, for example, quick search, search by future potential, openness to negotiation, or what the current salary is so you've got all that so for example I go future potential um, obviously you got all these great players here uh, that could be really good um, as you can see Berbatov Bebis is on there which is definitely on my list because he is a very good player um, and also openness to negotiation again this is more like these are the players that are more likely to um, you're more likely to sign because they're more open to uh, negotiating a contract. So, for example, here, Berbatov is again on there. So, he's going to be my first one. I'm just going to go for it here. Yes. Now, with this, you've got to select how, how long you want the contract to be. It only goes up to five years. And then you've got to select the transfer that you want. So for now, I'm just going to go for like 6,000. It's probably going to get rejected, but he is open to, to uh, negotiations. So it could be pretty good. I'm not sure though. I'm just going to go for 6,800 there. He's probably going to reject, but nonetheless, he's open to negotiating. So that's going to be my first one straight off the bat. Um, I did say that we won a um, defender, so we, we could do with like a left back or a new right back. Um, so there's some on here, but you know we just need to sort of look into it first. As you can see, Ledesma there has got a green arrow next to his name, which means he's already in uh, like negotiations with somebody else. But it doesn't mean you can't still go for him if a player is greyed out, like Berbatov is. You can't go for him, so there's that. So you can like press the um, back buttons on your controller or whatever you're using, and you can just go through the stats and things. So for example, age, um, the stars indicate how good they are at what um, like abilities they have. So for example, Ledesma here is good at playmaking, passing, center, outside, etc., etc. And injury A there, as you can see, which is very good. Um, that means you won't get injured a very lot. So there's that. There's also Kranjar here, who's on my list. Um, but I think for now, I just want to kind of go for ooh, Karlstrom. That could be a very good signing. Um, so there's quite a few on my list. Um, future potential again here. Um, this guy right here is very highly rated among uh, fans and, and people. Um, I think his name is pronounced Matthew or Matthew. I, I, Matthew. I just call him Matthew. But um, so I'm gonna actually try and go for him and just see if I can get him or not. Um, I'm just gonna go and put in about five thousand just to start off with. Doesn't matter if we don't get him. I mean, to be honest, guys, it doesn't matter if we don't sign anyone. It honestly isn't bad at all if we don't sign anyone. It's just just kind of going for it. So that's two. As you can see at the bottom of the screen there, you've got those like three little blue men. And what they mean is uh, how many players you can actually bid for. So we had five to start off with. We've got three left. So we've got a good three. Um, Johan Pelle there, uh, he's a very top quality goalkeeper. He's like one of the best in the game, I think, or the best even. Um, and he's clearly young as well, he's like 22. So I could go for him, but I think I'm just going to sort of leave it for now and just kind of have a look at some defenders and whatnot. Um, you can also go on like talent search here. So, for example, you can. This explains everything. So you got like post player, striker, shadow striker, dogfighter. <laughs> um, free kick, speed demon, so if you're looking for speedy players, this is your bet. I like speed in my side, so this is probably better for me, but um, I don't know, I mean, like some of these players we cannot simply afford just yet. We'd be lucky just to get one player, and um, as long as I mean, even if I don't get one player, I'll be happy with that, so it doesn't really matter. 
But again here you can select specific things for for example I want to go for a uh, position uh, I really want a side back um, that's really what I want at the moment and then we could also go for like for example age um, maximum age of say I don't know 23 minimum 15 that's the lowest it goes let's select OK and it'll just bring up all these kind of players here um, so there's quite a few on here um, Sergio Ramos right there um, that looks very interesting um, so I might go for him I, if, if, um, if that definitely is the um, Ramos I'm thinking of um, let's go to group search and yeah I think it definitely is him so I think I may go for him really quickly um, since he isn't playing for Real Madrid it must be him um, so as you can see here we can apply for transfer like we've already done with a couple of players or we can apply for a loan um, which could be good or there's open to trade now what trade means is you offer a, an amount of money plus one of your own players for him so that could be pretty good um, I think maybe for the time being uh, I guess we could go for a loan just for now just to see how he gets on um, so as you can see here contract period is 17 weeks that's the maximum we can go for so that means his contract will run out like I think the end of the season or no I think it's actually the last game of the season it runs out until week no we, until week 36 there which I think is the last game so yeah uh, we also got to offer them a little bit of money with that so we'll offer them say 1500 and see what they respond with so we got two left uh, we're probably not gonna get all these players they probably will all get rejected more than likely because that's that tends to happen so yeah um, apparently Sean Wright Phillips is a side back which is very strange. Um, so yeah, if I go to search by group, you can search by uh, team here, which is really interesting. You can do that. Um, so these are all the different like leagues and teams and stuff. Over here is our league. So we got all that going on. And also here you can have edited players, which is like, I think it plays like you put in yourself or something. I'm using an option file, so some of these will appear. Um, there's others, which is just like, I don't know, other players, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then there's non-affiliated, but we have none for that. And then there's newcomers, which is kind of interesting. There's this guy here, which I was looking at earlier, Schwartz, and he looks pretty good. Um, he's only 17, and his stats, and look at that. Look at all these things he's good at. Holy shit, at 17 years of age. And that is just amazing, so I thought, we could go for this guy. We can get him on a free transfer as well if 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 it's negotiated right. So I thought, why not? Um, so I'm just going to offer him like I don't know. Let's go for 1,700 to start off with. In fact, no. Let's go for 2,000 actually and see what he responds with because um, that would be really good to get him. So yeah, we offered that guy a contract, and if we get him, it means we don't pay out any money. We're just only going to pay his contract at the end of the season. So that would be amazing to get him. Um, and then we've got one more left, so I'm probably going to go for... Um, oh, one, one player that I was looking at earlier, if I could find him really quickly. I think he plays for... Yeah, there he is. Sa, um, or Ka, or whatever you want to call him. Um, I have a limit of 32 players on my team so I can't go for him at the moment but he does look pretty good and he's really young at the moment because he is 18 and I bought him on a Master League in PES 6 actually um, and he was really good actually so I don't know maybe that could be an option but like you know we've got one left so we may as well try and use it up even though we probably won't get anybody uh, one other player I was looking at was actually Glenn Johnson here um, I don't think we'll get him but we can open a trade um, so I'm not sure if we will get him or not but um, I think to be honest since he's a right back we should probably 
go for a right back. Like for example, I could do say Yosemi, for example. This is probably not gonna gonna work at all, but here you can um, apply the contract, so say five years. Transfer fee, uh, let's just go for say let's go for that for now. And then his uh, salary will just go up to say eight hundred for now. Um, and we'll do that and apply. So that means if it's accepted, his tr we'll play out 1,300 points to Chelsea. His sal will be, salary will be 800. Five-year contract, but Yosemi will go to Chelsea as well. But I highly, highly doubt Chelsea going to accept that. So we'll just see what comes back first. Oh my God! We have gotten Berbatov and Schwartz. That is amazing. Wow. Um, that is really good. He is now a Liverpool player. That is absolutely amazing. I was not expecting that. Um, and I do realise that Berbatov did play for Manchester United, um, but back in these days he didn't. So, and also Schwartz. That is amazing. So we brought in two strikers already. Um, also, uh, AC Milan want to buy Alonso, which they're definitely not having. <laughs> So, yeah, right off the bat, that's happened. Uh, however, we are in a financial difficulty at the moment. So, yeah. What we're going to have to do is sell a few players. Um, see, there, Wigan have brought in a few. They've brought in two of the land. Well, um, and that. So, this basically just tells you who's bought who. So, yeah. We're not going to go crazy. I did say I just wanted to bring in like a few players. I don't want to go crazy. So, I think what I'm going to go do now is go to my team. And I think what I'm going to do is. Yeah, I've been talking about Crouch a lot. You know what? Enter for a possible transfer. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of him. Um, Cinema Pungol, I'm going to keep on to for now. Uh, Neil Miller is also going to get placed on there because he just. He's not a part of my plans, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with those signings straight off the bat. Um, apparently, Foy goes into a really good player. Um, there's Welsh and Potter. I don't really see them being a part of the team, to be honest, those players. Um, or Raven, to be honest, but then again we could do with as many defenders we can get hold of at the moment, so... I'm gonna enter these for a possible transfer. You might have also noticed that release is there as well, uh, which means um, you have to pay points out to release them, which means they'll just leave the club automatically, but you don't have to pay their... Uh, uh, their t uh, what do you call it? The... Um, their salary at the end of the season, that will be deducted, so yeah. End of a possible transfer. Zenden, um, we've got a few options uh, in the midfield. Um, I think we probably keep hold of Gonzalez for a while, but I, to be honest, I'm, I'm not seeing him as a part of the team. Um, as part of my plans currently. So, yeah, that's that's looking pretty good for now. Um, I mean, we've got Zend in there. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's not amazing, but he's, you know, I, I could get rid of him. I mean, don't forget we have the summer transfer uh, to go through yet, so yeah. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go search by group and go back to newcomers here. Um, so there's a, there's a few players in here which you can get on contract, but to be honest, I just want to loan a player um, for now, which would do me. Um, and I doubt Chelsea are going to loan out Glenn Johnson to me, but if they do, then that would be really good. So let's see, uh, we'll just transfer... You know, we'll just stick with the default there and just see what they do. They're probably going to reject it, but oh well. If you look at our funds there, we got 4,360 points. So yeah, we need to build that right back up and get rid of a few of our players. Um, also, um, here, Alonso, uh, AC Milan put a bid in for him. They offered 8,358. Uh, which I'm going to refuse. You don't have to really do anything. If you don't touch it, it just automatically refuses anywhere. So, yeah. 
Um, you know what, I'm going to put Zenden up for sale as well. Just to free up a bit of room on the team. Uh, and just see if, what comes in. So let's go to the next week. Uh, Glenn Johnson was a breakdown. Uh, Charlton have offered a switch for Zenden. So let's kind of, we want to look at that I guess. Yeah, we know we have a financial problem, we don't need to know. Um, so let's see what they've offered for Zenden. Be interesting to see. They have offered, uh, is that Brian Hughes? Or, I think. Um, so if we just come out of that a minute and just sort of have a look at what they have offered directly. Um, just kind of have a look at his stats uh, for the time being. Um, there he is. So he's actually pretty good. He's not too bad. Uh, he's also 29 years of age though. So we're not... I think to be honest Zenden would be just worth keeping for now. Um, I think they've offered some money for him um, though which is kind of weird. Um, because there's, there's always that argument, oh, do you take take it because you'll be getting the extra money as well? But they've only offered like 700 for him. So our funds would go up to 5,000, plus we'd get Brian Hughes. Um, I believe his name is Brian Hughes. It might not be. could be different. I'm sorry if it's not. Um, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, like, I think you can sort of compare him. So we've got Zenden on compare there. So what I think we can do now is if we go to search group, there we go. So we can compare the two players. So for example, uh, Hughes has got better uh, stamina, um, his top speed is not as good, his acceleration is not as good, so he's not as fast as Zenden. Um, his response is a lot better, his agility is worse, his dribble accuracy is worse. You know what I mean? Some of his stats are worse. His injury is B, so it's probably definitely not worth it. Um, so, yeah. What I may do, actually, um, just for the time being, is I may go back into it, actually, and... I'm going to put Gonzalez up for sale and just see what comes in for him. It's not because I want to get rid of him, it's just to see what comes in for him at this current time, if anything. Um, I know Pungol really hasn't played a game, I think he's played like one or came on as a sub, but like we'll just see what we can take at the time. Um, so if we go back and we want to go to search by group I think, and see you, you can go to like the big teams and just kind of pick off some of their players, I mean, I mean Messi there, I mean look at his stats. 18, but he's pretty decent. Like, I played a, a La Liga uh, league on here with Barca, and he was pretty good. He scored a few goals for me. He's definitely a good player. Um, Valencia, you know, because you, you don't have to just sort of stick with the, the uh, league that you're in or anything. Uh, Fabio Aurelio, though, is pretty good. Um, 26, left back. You know what? I'll put in a loan for him. Why not? Um, Why not? You know what I mean? I mean, we've signed two players already, which I really was not expecting, so who knows. Um, it's probably not worth doing. You know, you got Bayern Munich here. they got a lot of good players. Um, got Lahm there. We probably won't end up getting any of their players because they've got such a good team, but... Hopefully we can sell a few hours and raise a bit of cash uh, for now, so... Um, ooh, there was company there. That could be good. Uh, he's not available for loan. Um, so yeah, you, you just got to sort of scour and just see, uh, you know, like who's available and, and stuff like that. So we'll just have to uh, have a look at that. Bernard Mendy though, who's got really good speed. He can run down the ring. No doubt about it. Um, we can't loan any. See, some of these you just can't loan. Some of them you can, so it depends who you you really want, to be honest. Um, Leo there, he's not too bad, but you know, you know what I mean. You just gotta you just gotta scour and just see, you know, who's available. There's Heitinger, uh, 
battle. <laughs> we don't really need any more strikers. I mean, I've brought an extra two in, and we've already got enough. I really could do with a, uh, a left back or right back um, for the moment. So I think, to be honest, um, if we go back to group, and I think, was it Sergio Ramos was playing for... I think it was severe, actually. Uh, oh, we can loan him. Um, so yeah, uh, let's try and get him on loan if we can. Um, I think our transfer failed last time, so we'll just offer it that much. Uh, so we got a couple of bids in there already. Um, I don't think there's really anybody else I want to go for at this time. Uh, all broke down, so not good, but oh well. Uh, Gonzalez, uh, switch there, and uh, AC Milan want Potter, so that's pretty good. We can uh, sell a couple of players off there, because they're just not part of my plans. Um, so let's go for that, let's have a look. Uh, let's do the Potter transfer first, and then we'll see who they offered. Uh, they've offered less than what I want, but you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and accept it, and Potter can move to AC Milan. Um, he hasn't really got a game, and he's just, you know, so... Uh, they have offered Alexander Hleb for Mark Gonzalez. Holy crap! That is a good, good trade there. Hleb has got amazing stats on here. I am going to go ahead and absolutely accept that, because that is an amazing offer. Um, they, must, they must really want Gonzalez there. Um, so they've offered five years plus a transfer. Uh, they've offered 660 and they've offered him uh, 680. I am definitely going to accept that. That is a very good transfer. Thank you very much. Um, wow, okay. <laughs> um, I was definitely not expecting that. Um, for those of you who know him, he's got really good stats on this game, so uh, that is very, very good. This goalkeeper here is quite highly rated too. Um, you know what, I'm just going to go back in for Johnson again, why not? Um, now that we're getting a little bit of funding there. Um, let's just offer him, say, 2000 to come on loan. Um, let's go back in for Sergio Ramos really quickly. So... Oh, wait, he's playing for Sevilla. Uh, apply for loan. Uh, let's offer him 2,000 as well. I think we offered him 2,000 last time, but oh well. Um, there's Daniel Alves there, who's really good. You know what, let's... No, we can't offer him a loan or anything. Um, Jesus Navas, he's a good player. Um, I'm not sure if we can get any more players, to be honest. I mean, some of these kind of are coming up as you can't learn them. Um, but I guess it depends on the uh, the actual player, to be honest. You know what, I'm just going to go for it, because nobody's really coming up there. But I think we've had a pretty good transfer there. We've got Hleb, Berbatov, and Schwartz in, which is very good. Uh, Potter and Gonzalez, success. Sergio Ramos and Glenn Johnson broke down, but I don't really care. Uh, and that's that. So we're on to the next part of the season. That was a very good transfer there. Uh, we got a condition warning, which I don't know who that is. Oh, that's Kuehl. Kuehl's got three weeks left, so yeah. Kaleb there with his amazing stats. That is really good. Um, as you can see, our transfer budget is back up to 7,000. Now, one extra thing I, I can do before just leaving here is you can edit the player number. So, for example, our new players can get a number for them. So, Hleb there is number two. We don't want him to be number two. Um, I think he's number 13 at Arsenal, so I'm going to go for 13. Um, we got Schwartz there who's number 12. Um, Berbatov is five of all numbers. Um, so, I think Schwartz... Uh, Schwartz can be... Let's see, uh, 11's a pretty good number, uh, I don't know, let's go for 11 for now. Schwartz can be 11, and Berbatov can be 18, I like the number 18. So that's pretty good, um, maybe I should have given 11 to Berbatov, but oh well. I am very happy with those transfers, for sure. Um, 
so yeah that was pretty successful guys uh, so as you can see again we are four points clear at the top of the table we have Rangers away from home this time so we had success there last time with them and uh, we'll just see how it goes from there we're on week 20 so the last half of the season is to go so uh, yeah thanks for watching this video guys see you guys next time for the Rangers game see you then